How's this? How's the money maker? There we go. Look at that. Oh, you guys haven't seen the fresh beard in a minute. What's up, gang? I'm saying that now. Welcome to uh, Kingston Motorsports Park. We are out here with Jamie Parker, aka JP Tuning. We are bringing out the Fairmont. If you have not seen this car on the channel, check this out. Four Doors of Fury here, so you can actually get down and party with all your rowdy friends because the back seat still works, even with the cage. And I gotta say, I'm a huge fan of the OG flannel. I don't know what color you. You see that in two different cars: 80s domestic shit boxes, and then like German cars, like Volkswagens and Audis and stuff. But uh oh, quick park. You hear that? That's what his car sounds like. <laughs> so this is test and tune night for the Fairmont. Uh, first time Jamie's actually put a trans brake for Turbo 400 in the car. So stock bottom end 5.3. It's a 78-75 turbo from BS Racing. Terminator X. Pumpy 85. Pretty much your average Turbo LS shitbox street car. And we're going to go up here and see what it do. limited with the suspension that we got. We got a little bit of improvement on that the last time, but the bar angle for a radio on this car is not ideal. So, I'm not embarrassed. Look, this guy, before you guys were in the comments yelling at us about, these batteries are very, very dead. We tested them, see, look. Just kidding. So we put two car batteries in the back that are secured with what used to be the trunk liner. Uh, you, you know, safety third, I always say. And if you guys are worried about it, my man's over here racing in jeans and a t-shirt and an old crusty motorcycle helmet. So Jamie just likes to party more than other people. That's good. So, what's your predictions for this song? It's in the truck. Predictions? Five. 
fives. We're going fives again. We're getting it back in the fives. The last two weren't in the fives, and that's all I'm gonna say about that. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. Too close for it to go. moment here. Look to the left in this freeze frame of Jamie's taillights. See that gray box? That is the car that went down the pass prior. It is still on the track and stopped in the shutdown. Thankfully Jamie saw it and was able to slow down and make sure he stayed out of the way, but this could have been catastrophically bad. there was our buddy Jason's car over here went down the track his steering column locked up because a set screw backed out of uh, one of the universal joints and his car veered to the left past the eighth mile and took out a bunch of cones and his taillights on that car were not working so nobody knew he was still on the track everybody thought he cleared the track they sent Jamie down the track and thankfully his car the steering locked up and he moved towards the left lane Jamie was in the right lane and went down it at about north of 100 miles an hour. Uh, and they were about to send a third car down the track because couldn't see anything. But the other problem we have is because this car took out the two cones past the eighth mile. Therefore, when Jamie went down, he got no dead on that last pass. Um, if you watch the video, you can tell it's launched significantly harder. It actually trucked and went down the track. I think the little part could have been driven through. We'll find out next time we bring this car out here. So, hey, everybody's safe. We got oil pressure. 